In this section you will learn about respectful communication within a diverse workplace, verbal and non-verbal communication, creating mutual trust and confidence, dealing with language barriers and when and how to seek assistance when required. Respectful communication. What is respectful communication? Simply put, communication means a message was sent, received and understood. This is usually through speaking, writing, listening or reading, but it can also include gestures, expressions, movements and actions. We know from earlier in this workbook that respect can be defined as to feel or show honour or esteem for, hold in high regard, to consider or treat with deference or dutiful regard, to show consideration for, avoid intruding upon or interfering with, to respect others' privacy. Communicating respectfully means we convey, receive and understand messages in a way that values the sender or receiver. If we take the time to understand the context of the communication and the person communicating, we will better understand the intended me meaning of the communication. Verbal and non-verbal communication. Verbal communication uses spoken language and may be face to face, on the telephone, over the internet, over a two-way radio or similar communication equipment. As a volunteer, you may find you use verbal communication on the phone with clients or in team meetings with your colleagues or during your discussions with your supervisor. Nonverbal communication is about conveying our meaning or receiving a message without words. Nonverbal communication includes your tone of voice, the use of pauses, gestures, personal space, facial expressions, body language and posture. Other examples include when we make a thumbs up signal, pump the ear in victory, drop our shoulders in defeat, smile at another person, tap our pen impatiently during a boring meeting or roll our eyes. Verbal and non-verbal communications often occur together. For example, when we are talking with someone face to face, we receive a verbal message and a non-verbal messages through body language. To fully understand the meaning of the message, we need to pay attention to both these signals. Language is complex and some words have more than one meaning and other words have different meanings to different people and cultures. Therefore, always clarify a message to ensure you have understood it as intended. Using verbal and non-verbal forms of communication together can help convey a message clearly.